and that's the danger of, of, of believers today, that instead of us affecting the world, the world is affecting us. Instead of us affecting the world and bringing them to the church, we're bringing the world into the church. And now the church is entertainment. The church is, is an amusement park. The church is the circus. We need to entertain people to keep people. We need to entertain people so they can come back. No, I don't need to entertain anybody because I bring the cross of Jesus Christ. God will do the rest. And, and Halloween is one of the, the if, you, if you see, if you go back to the history of Halloween, and I'm talking about the history years after years, the most demonic attack, the most people missing, the most people missing, people, human sacrifices, uh, skulls, uh, cemeteries, plots upside down, people digging out bones and skeletons, and people digging out skulls for Halloween. If you see the situation with Halloween, if you see the situation with, with, with attack with, uh, with the, uh, the gentleman, the, 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 young boy, the young kid that did the, the, the attack on uh, the movie theater out in Colorado, a demon, a, a, a demon, a, a demon possessed person celebrated Halloween. If you see the situation with the young man in, uh, in the school in Connecticut, celebrated Halloween. You, it's Halloween is like the opposite, and I shouldn't say the opposite because I'm, I'm kind of, I'm just trying to give you an, an analogy of how we celebrate Good Friday, how we celebrate Resurrection Sunday, the importance of Good Friday, the importance for believers to celebrate Resurrection Sunday because without the Resurrection, without Good Friday, there's no Christianity. Without Halloween, there's no devil. You know, and then the day after, the day after Halloween, all, all Saint, all Saint Day, all Saint Day, people buying candles and buying candles and celebrating and making uh, different food offerings to their dead relatives. Those are demons, people. You, 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 got, you got Christians celebrating all Saint Day, the day after Halloween, which is November 1st. So how are you going to celebrate these things and call yourself blessed? How are you going to celebrate these things and say you're in Christ? How are you going to celebrate? It's like, me get, it's like me being married and I'm sleeping with a prostitute, but I love my wife. Oh, I'm, I'm married. I love my wife, but I'm sleeping with a prostitute. No, there's no way that that makes sense. There's no way that you can, you can fit that in someone's mind. So, so the attack, the demonic attack, the demonic stronghold, the gateways, the portals, the, 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 four, the four to five generations being cursed, it starts celebrating Halloween. Halloween, it, it, people think, is, they look at it, they look, you know, we get caught up with the historical aspect of what Halloween is. But people, that's just a story. The, the, the whole picture of Halloween is that you honoring the devil. You bow down to the devil because I used to celebrate Halloween. The biggest witchcraft that I used to do was on Halloween to kill, steal, and destroy Christian believers, destroy anything that came in my path that week that, that, that I, I was preparing a week ahead of time. As a matter of fact, I was preparing two weeks ahead of time to kill you on the 31st. Coffins, bones, portions, I, I, you name it. I had it. Halloween. It is a nuisance. It is an abomination in the eyes of a holy God. So how is it that you're going to go to a Halloween party? How is it you're going to have a, a, a harvest in your church and call it blessed and call it you, uh, you honoring God when God never called you to do a harvest in your church? When God never called a Christian to put pumpkins and colored things on their door or put, uh, put uh, spider webs you know, spider webs, entrapments on your windows, and, 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 and goblins, and all this kind of goblins, uh, uh, demonic forces on, on your windows, or, or on your door, or, or, or around your house. I mean, that is the thing. If you have done that, it's time to repent tonight. It's time to ask God for forgiveness. It's time to call Mega Man Radio and say, help me close these doors and cut the ties that the enemy has on me, my family, and the next three or four generations in my in, in, in my family line, the Halloween is, is is poison to the believer and to the non-believer. If, if you look at the stories in this year coming up, I give you an example. Look at the newspaper this year coming up to non-believers. How many people die and get killed and get stabbed and get shot and get mi and they're missing on Halloween? People, if you play with fire, if you play with fire, you're gonna smell like toast. And not even if you play with fire, you're going to burn your whole house down. And you have nothing left of you. Because the devil comes to play for keeps. The devil plays for keeps. The devil is the most, he has a mastermind of strategies. Believe me, I sat in the devil's mind for 25 years. I sat in the devil's mind for 25 years. 
His mind is full of strategies, how to entrap, engage, and kill, steal, and destroy to holidays, to events, to cultures. I was talking to a young lady in my church uh, this past Sunday, Brother Shannon, and she told me as a Muslim, she was a devout Muslim at the time. Thank God she's safe today. A uh, wonderful young lady, a devout Muslim. And she said that she, she described the ceremonies that they do in Islam with the, with the uh, ceremonies of bath cleanings and all that. That same ceremony is the same demon that does it in Santeria. But to them, it's a culture thing. Okay, to the Muslim. And, and to the people in Santeria, it's a culture thing. It's the same demon operating entrapment, set up, engaging, killing, steal, and destroy. And for the, for the only purpose they do this is to keep you away from the cross and your purpose and your destiny to know Jesus Christ. And, and I end with this. And I say this to the believers out there that are listening under the sound of my voice. It's time to repent. It's time to make right with God. Don't play with a holy God. The Bible makes it clear. The Bible makes it clear that Jesus said in his word, be afraid of me that I can destroy your body and your soul. People, I went to hell. I don't know how long I was there. That's how I got saved. I tell you right now, I, I, I could have been there for half hour. I could have been there for 20 minutes. I can't even give you the time that I was down there. But I did went. And one thing, just that 20 minutes, half hour, they literally say I was there for 20 minutes and a half hour. That was enough to tell me to turn from my wicked ways, to turn from, from 25 years of devil worshiping. I turned because just a glimpse of what that was, whether it's 20 minutes, or 20 minutes or 25 minutes, the time I was there was enough for me to say yes to Jesus and no to the devil. So imagine to be in hell for eternity. There's people that today, that died today, and they started their first day in hell. Don't let the entrapment and the lies and the deception, there's something that looks cool, that looks good, that looks harmless, send you to a place that you spend your eternity and never to return and never to even say nothing because you are separated from a holy God. You're separated from a place that God has predestined for you to live with him for an eternity. And my message today, Brother Shannon, is I will say like Ezekiel said in, 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 in chapter 33, the train is coming and you're sitting on the tracks. And I say to you, get off the tracks. The train is coming. The watchman on the wall. And that's what I'm talking about. So your blood today is off my hands because I told you what Halloween is about. Now, if you want to celebrate it, that's up to you. If you want to do harvest in your church, that's up to you. But I sounded the trumpet, and I'm telling you today, whoever celebrates Halloween is cursed beyond you can imagine. I leave you with this. It's time to repent. It's time to turn to Jesus Christ. Amen.